Well, hello everyone. <laughs> Sorry for my awkward dumb face there at the beginning, but I wanted you guys to see all the text, which I also didn't read the whole beginning thing because my brain was like, mm, words, that's cool, and did not read them. So something about the communities and all that kind of stuff. There was a game that we played not too long ago called the Walter Martin's Teleform, or it's Walter Martin's Teleform. And we were a set of investigators who were going around and investigating um, a live on air suicide. This one is called Our Lady of the Drowned Lake. And this one, all I know about it is like the little bits and pieces, the trailers and stuff that they've released for it. Uh, this is not a fully released game, I don't believe. They have a Steam page for it and it's it says coming soon. So I'm guessing that this is just gonna be a little taste of what the game is going to offer fully once it's out later. I know I'm really looking forward to this one. It's Spooky Lake, You're, you fish, you have Haunty Ghost. <laughs> but it looks really, really, really good because like what I liked about Teleform so much was the subtle creepiness and like underlying unsettling tone to everything, but it never was like truly super like terrifying or anything like that. It was just incredibly unsettling, and I love that. So I am excited to jump into this one and experience Our Lady of the Drowned Lake. But before we can do that, be sure and leave a like on the video if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And be sure and let me know down in the comments down below if there's any other ideas or games you'd like to see me play. This one is going to be linked down in the description down below. It is free on itch.io, so give it a try for yourself. Because Monumental is incredible at what they do. So let's give this a try. Hey, we're new reporters! Yes! Bento! This episode of Zero Reporter was supposed to be a, a night fishing trip. I've been looking forward to this. The guide and I were going to fish in the Our Lady of the Drowned Lake, trading stories about their riverside community. Only, something happened before I arrived. They were vague. I believe some boats sunk here recently. The guide mentioned they'd lost some bed. That fishing now would be like gambling with the lake itself. I can only chalk this up to some sort of local folklore. I think they called it the Waters Caboclo or something. <laughs> well, I didn't drive all the way out here for nothing. I'm not letting you down, folks. I have to fish by myself, so be it. Just me, the camera, and the fishing rod. <laughs> ah! It's whispering to me. I can move. Space to suspicious red spots. Don't let the noise rise in your ears. It'll attract danger. Oh. I got a bite. I fished. Oh. Um. getting away. Is that like a dice rolling? Okay. Some kind of tilapia. Around 13 centimeters in size. A somewhat small but very nice fish. Fish like this one are the bread and butter of the local communities. Usually we send them back to the river, but I'm keeping this one. Nothing out here but water. I got a bite. Observe. There's dice rolling. It's not 
very big. Getting closer. Almost got it. 40%. Rusty, a little dull. Probably used to clean up the fish? Only that's not usually done, is it? Cleaning fish while in the boat, I mean. No. Well, it's here now. Yeah, no, you wouldn't usually. You wouldn't usually clean the fish in the boat. That's See it to the left there. Try fishing in this spot. I got a bite. Dude. Even if I let it go, it's like, what's going on? It's a heavy one. On, almost got it. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna make too much noise. What's gonna happen? It's a statue. Is it the Virgin Mary? This must be the Lady of the Drowned. Probably some local belief, maybe an undocumented operation. How did this get here? I wonder if this belonged to the fishermen who drowned. I can see why they would carry something like this. Everyone wants some divine protection, huh? back here, but it's gonna be too loud. There it is. There's a little boat that crashed. It's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? I ain't got all those I can only do and observe. It's a little heavy. I don't know what to do! Got it. A bottle? A what? <laughs> this this is Kachaka, isn't it? <laughs> Almost fifty percent alcohol and half empty. I wonder if they had this as an offering to appease the so called Kaboklo. Most likely they drank themselves stupid and drowned. Gotta remember to edit that out later. What? I don't know what words I'm saying. I hope I'm pronouncing everything right. Apologies if I'm not. <laughs> There's a big one here, but there's nothing there. Looks like there's a big one here, folks. Wait. Something's not right. What? You lost the gamble, kid. What the fuck? 
pay up. Huh? Uh, uh, um, do I give it the statue or the fish? Uh, statue? Was that me? Am I dead now? Wrong choice. What in the world? Huh? What? What just happened? Was I supposed to give him the fish? <laughs> or stab him? So I'm back. I want to see what else happens because it just kind of went to nothing there. Not sure if my game bugged out or what happened, but uh, yeah, nothing happened after that. It didn't go back to the main menu, no nothing. So I want to see what else can happen. Let's do this one. Of course. You're not getting away. And then we'll do normal. Cause it's like right there. Okay, we got this lobby. Yeah. Maybe I needed to give the hand the fish. Which would make sense, because this is supposed to be like some sort of relationship between like some kind of like monster of the river, I think. So maybe he won't fish. This should be the knife. So we're gonna do the forceful one. And then regular. The noise levels are better. Okay. Good. Things are happening. I'm trying to follow the same path, just in case. This will be the statue. I don't know if I can reel that in forcefully, but we'll give it a try. Almost got it. Okay. Ooh, the noise went down after we found the statue. That's interesting. Huh. Wonder what that means. was not a leg. Okay, it's a boot. <laughs> a ruined boot. Nothing but trash. Guess fishing for boots is kind of a rite of passage after all. Haha. <laughs> what was that? A boot? Interesting. There's spots all over the place. What is that? Got it. It's the weird horseshoe thing. We saw this in the vision, I guess. A horseshoe. It was probably just thrown in, but looking at it gives me a bad feeling. Interesting, and also not good. Let's go up here. We 
get a bite. Okay, this might be another fish. Let's go ahead and do the forceful. Not a fish. Almost got it. That's a lot of noise. What is that? A clump of tobacco? I know it's a local custom to roll your own smokes around here. I wonder if the fishermen have used other uses for this around here, though. That's weird. Maybe that guy only pops up when my noise gets up to my. Oh, we're back at the same spot. Hand? Hand! You've lost the gamble, kid. Pay up. Give him with the fish. Fish? Not the right choice. <laughs> what am I supposed to give him? <laughs> fish tobacco. Underwater. Drowning. Horseshoe. Fish. Purple fish. Stacked. Die. Tiki. Well, unfortunately, I did a little digging, and that is it so far. So, I don't know if they're planning on doing like a full release of this, or if their next game is going to continue the idea in this one because I know that the other one, Teleforum, had also that like horseshoe symbol as well. So that's super interesting, but I'm not sure if these are going to actually be directly connected with anything or not. Um, I do know that this is going to be like a, you know, this is like a similar style series of things where your reporters and crazy stuff is going on and I absolutely love that. I love the way that these games are made, like the foundation of them, the formula of them. I really enjoy the fact that you're like a reporter and doing that kind of stuff and your own investigating. I really like that a lot. But they did say that if you want to explore more around the lake, you'll get more context as to what is going on. But I'm going to leave that part up to you guys. So be sure and click the link down below and check out the game for yourself and do some exploring. Let me know what you guys find out because I'm not really familiar with the lore in this. Um, they are Brazilian, so I'm sure that's you know, connected there. So, uh, I might do some research on this and kind of read up on it. I enjoy doing that. But, I hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye!